How's it going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have Catch Your Breath on with us tonight. They can say their names and uh, what they do in the band. Keenan on the bassist. Josh on vocals. Teddy, I play guitar. Uh, oh, no, I, I play the drums. There we go, guys. Well, thank you for coming on. Want to give a huge shout out to Tabitha Thriller. She's always great, so big salutes to her. But um, really stoked about you guys. Uh, I did, ironically enough, before I got hit up from Thriller to have you on, you guys, your gut song uh, Dial Tone had shown up on one of my like Spotify recommended songs. And very rarely, like when I'm sitting here and I'm listening to music, I'm like, mm, I like that song. I haven't heard this band before, but. I listened to Dial Tone and I was like, I need to repeat that. I need to go back and listen to it again because I was super stoked about it. Uh, so want to give a salute to Spotify because they recommended me to you. And then ironically enough, just wind up showing up anyway. So very cool. Always love that. Um, but the first thing is, is how did Catch Your Breath start out? How did you guys kind of form? How did you get your members? The the origin story, as you will. <laughs> yeah, so the origin story, yeah. It was back in like 2013, 2014. It started this, this like project with a couple of friends. Mm -hmm. And before we were called like Inertia. And then okay. uh, I kicked out our original singer and then our our producer found Josh because uh, they, they're like from the same place. Oh, very cool. Okay. And uh, yeah, since then I'm just like wrote demos and it's been a long process and now we're here. There we go. Um, that's awesome. I want to give a shout out. I have actually, I don't know if Keenan remembers this, but I, I know he's, uh, I know of a previous band you were in, uh, Dead uh, Weight. Uh, uh, shout out yeah. to my homie, Tyler. Uh, I had seen you guys play, and so I saw him post about you not too long ago, and I was like, I was like, that name sounds familiar, and I couldn't remember why. So I have seen, I, ha I have seen you. So it's good to catch up again. But uh, I was like, I was like, holy shit! I was like, this is, I was like, same Keenan. I was like, it's yeah. So very stoked. So kudos for you to go out there and do the thing. Um, but uh, in terms of finding Josh, like how. Josh, were you really stoked or were like were you in another project before that point and you're like trying to find something different or how did kind of that come to be where you're like, I feel like this might be a good fit, you know? Yeah, I I mean I was I had been in bands since I was like a kid. Okay. You know, I'd been like involved in music. Uh there though, like for a while after like my high school band kind of fell apart, mm -hmm. uh went through like a really stagnant phase because like Oklahoma it is yeah, it's a great place, but <laughs> It, there's not a lot of people, so like sure, less, yeah. less amount of musicians that there are. So I couldn't really find a band that would like stick together. Um, and actually, through a mutual friend, Bradley, who's no no longer around, but he he actually connected Curtis and I because uh, Curtis had played in a band that I grew up. Oh, very to, sick. Okay, uh, back in the day in Oklahoma, uh, and I would watch his band, and that kind of is, is what inspired me to play music. So many years later when I was going like through this like really stagnant phase and like super sad that I like didn't have a band and couldn't do anything. Yeah. Um, Bradley contacted Curtis and linked us up together. And that's when he and Curtis had just started like kind of putting together this band. Uh, I think you guys had worked with Kyle O'Dell already at that time. Um, and then, yeah, they, they got rid of their old vocalist for different reasons. And uh, sure. they, they tried me out, and I recorded our song "Frontline" in Curtis's wow. bedroom <laughs> in Oklahoma, in Midwest City, Oklahoma. It was just me and like him in his room. He just had like a mattress on the floor and like his desk and a computer and a microphone. Respect, yeah. And we wrote. Uh, we didn't write, but I re-recorded "Frontline." Wow. And he sent it over to Teddy as like my tryout, and they were like yeah dude this guy's great like send him on over and actually what you guys hear like frontline was my tryout for the band what oh that's yeah. so sick okay that's neat that's a cool little tidbit i always like getting those like weird things that i feel like most people aren't like aware of so i'll have to go back and listen now and and be like absolutely shocked about that so very stoked yeah. and honestly like dial tone is such a catchy track i like I put it on repeat at my job. Like I'm allowed to listen to music and just like jam out. And I'm like, I was like, my God, the hooks on this track, chef's kiss. It's great. And so I'll leave links guys below to go check out, catch your breath. If you haven't already, you should definitely go do it. Links. This guy, this guy's mostly responsible for dial tone right here. There we go. There we go. Absolutely love it. Shout out to Teddy, the, the hooks. 
fantastic. It's always good. Um, in regards to uh, getting signed to Thriller, congrats, obviously. Um, how was that process? Because um, I imagine you guys must have been pretty stoked about that to get hit up oh, about yeah. it. So how was how was that process and how'd that come to be? Because that's awesome. Like the whole process. Yeah. So it's super sick. Um, so like Bob Bob Becker like and our aunt, the A and R guy Nico they hit us up and um, they're like we love we love you guys and mm -hmm. we want to sign y'all and uh, at the time Bob was uh, acquiring uh, In Vogue so oh. now Thriller yeah. Records and In Vogue together in one under one uh, team and they're like you know we're gonna get you on In Vogue and then on, after your first album we'll like put put you on the roster on, on Thriller oh wow. And, Dalton blew up, and Bob was like, never mind, we're going to put you <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame him. That I mean, like I said, it is an absolute hit, so I, I'm not surprised he, they kind of went to, back to the drawing board and were just like, you know, I think we should just try sign him the Thriller. That just seems more, makes more sense. Well, um, that's awesome, and uh, I'm glad they were still, like, looking out for, like, really cool bands, because, like I said, I it just showed up on my Spotify recommended and I was just like, this is sick. I, I need to go follow this band. So like literally I paused the song and I went on to Instagram and I gave you guys a follow. Cause I was just like, I need to figure out what these guys are doing. If they're not signed by the end of the year, I'll be very surprised because dial tone is great. And I'm very curious to see what you guys have coming up next. I see you guys are in the studio from what I could tell here. So um, how has that process been? Uh, I'm sure you guys are excited to have some sort of like larger release other than dial tone, but how how, how has that been going for you guys? Sick. It's okay. Been so sick, dude. Like, I this is this whole process has been fun. Like Curtis has been with us since the beginning. Very sick. But like, we've we've developed a team that like works really well with us and him. Uh, I I can drop a, like a couple names, I guess, but like Kyle O'Dell. Ooh. I love that dude. Uh, he yeah. is doing crazy things. He's like going to work on breaking Benjamin and stuff. So Ooh. like, yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah, he got, he's doing really well right now. Uh, let me see. I don't think that any, uh, Josh. Yeah. Jeff Dunn mixed style tone. Yeah, okay, Dunn, very sick. All right. Yeah. So like Dunn's we've good. we've gotten a whole bunch of like really good people to come in there's a really cool feature that's gonna oh, be coming all right so stoked uh yeah dude the the songs that we're writing now like for this album like it's they're, they're great <laughs> they're great they're yeah. great there's there's variety there's you know you're gonna cry with us and you're gonna, amen you're gonna, i'm, and you're I'm gonna, waiting <laughs> get pissed off with us yeah you're gonna get pissed yes. off you're gonna cry you're gonna vibe Dude, I'm telling you guys right now. This I'm ready to go through the gambit of emotions, you know? So excited for it, yeah. I'm very stoked. And in regards to, um, obviously, Dial Tone being, like, the more of the front track right now, um, will that wind up ending up on the record, or is that kind of just, like, more of a single song that's just as, like... Yeah, yeah. Dial okay. Tone is going to be on the album. Oh, very sick. Okay, cool. As well as... Uh, as well as shame on me shame on me as well okay very sick all right all right cool i i like that i'm very excited i like i said i went back and listened to some of the other songs so i was just like if dial tone's great like i feel like some of the back catalog stuff that i didn't get recommended is always good and i always su suggest to the the fans watching this is to go back and listen to some of the other stuff because for me I think as like an interviewer, it's always cool to see um, the growth of the band. And I just feel like Dial Tone right now is like the front runner track for me. And I'm very excited to kind of hear what variations, what kind of emotions, what types of vibes are going to be on the new album. So I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes peeled for that when it comes out. But um, in regards to that, I imagine... Um, how has the reception been for Dial Tone? I feel like I've seen it blow up on like TikTok. It's been blown up everywhere. So for you guys being kind of like, you know, I would say like a, a newer-ish band, like I'm sure that sort of attention and stuff has been been amazing. I imagine it's, it's been nonstop. Dude. It's, it's crazy, it's, dude. We're we're I think on Spotify we're top twenty globally and woo. top fifty in the U.S. for viral. Fucking sick. Uh, That's awesome. Dude, none of us 
expected that shit to happen. <laughs> None of us are ready for we that. We weren't expecting the reaction. That was gonna we knew it was a great song, but like you know, we we try to be realistic. We're like, <laughs> yeah, you know, sure. Relatively, and like nobody knows who we are. Like we've we've gotten some traction. Dial tons of great songs, doing great things for us. Uh, but we didn't expect it to go viral around the yeah. world. You yeah. know, like that's crazy. That's so sick. Uh, like I said, kudos to you guys. You're really doing the work out there. And I think, if anything, I hope that that sort of um, trajectory and momentum kind of carries over into the album. I know I'm very stoked to hear it. So um, so I'm I, you know, very excited for you guys. Um, in regards to people maybe who aren't familiar with Catch Your Breath, um, obviously we, we talked about Dial Tone a lot. But if there was another song you could recommend to a new listener to check out, what would it be? Um, I would say Shame on Me. Yeah. Ooh, or okay. If you want something heavy like Ricochet or Blood in the Water, stuff like that. Yeah. Like criminal. Criminal is doing heavy stuff. Criminal is sick, yeah. Ooh, but, okay. Uh, awesome. That's something that's been cool, too, is, like, since Dial Tone is blowing up, the rest of our songs are doing really good, too. Yeah. So that's like, that's a awesome. A lot of people are hearing Dial Tone and wanting to go back and hear, like, what else we have and probably finding out, like, oh, like, these guys got some metal chops to them too. Like, okay. I did notice that. I was like, all right, this is this. Uh, they they kind of like, I was like, all right, they have this track that is just like, has this really great, like sort of like pop influence to it, but also is again in that sort of like alt rock category. And then I was like, man, I went back and listened to some of the older stuff. And I was like, okay, they got like some metal core. They got some like, they got some heavier vibes that I wasn't particularly picking up on with dial tone. So I would, I would definitely recommend guys if you can go check out their spotify again leave links below to go give it a listen go check out some of the old stuff i know dial tones a bop i know you I, you can stop listening to it for one time and go listen to the other stuff <laughs> but uh i yeah i would highly recommend it especially i'd imagine some of that stuff you know influence wise will make it on to the new album especially with it some some of the songs being heavier so i would definitely recommend checking that out if you have the opportunity to uh but uh, the next question I have for you guys is uh, who kind of influenced you early on in terms of like artists that got you started out within like the scene and uh, who influences your style more currently now? Um, well, I think Bring Me the Horizon's always been like one, like especially when it comes to choruses and stuff mm -hmm, like that. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely love what Bring Me does. Uh, hmm, that That's kind of like, the thing is like where we are now trying to carve our own path yeah like the reason that we've like s like kind of stepped into doing new music is because mm -hmm. like this state of metalcore and like where it's at right now it's like either they sound like architects or they sound like 2015 yeah and sure i i feel like we were in a spot like it's not like we're I don't think like we're necessarily like crazily pioneering anything, but we're trying to take the scene and kind of turn it into a new, like more fun, modern way sure. where yeah. not just rinse and repeating things that were successful before, because that's, that's the reason that like metalcore went from, you know, selling out 5,000 cap venues to now they're doing 250 cap venues. Sure. You know, yeah. that's not the draw to it anymore. And I feel like if we all collectively, kind of got together and was like let's modernize this a little bit i think i think we'd be doing great again because people don't necessarily hate heavy music sure yeah. they hate that we're doing it the same way that we've been doing it since 2010 that's what they hate they're but it's boring you know so do we're, we're trying to do something new more modern and refreshing all the time yeah yeah no i feel like yeah I, I did feel like with your stuff it was it was kind of like i wasn't expecting it because i'm almost positive if my memory serves me correct i'm pretty sure you guys showed up on like a day seeker radio kind of thing yeah. and i was like i was like okay i can see how this would like obviously spotify you know the algorithm is great um and i think it lined up super well where i was like i didn't feel like you guys were that dissimilar to Dayseeker in that aspect, but also I think there was something else about it where I felt like the choruses hit a lot stronger. There was just something about maybe the production level of the song that I was just like, okay, I know that they definitely have metalcore influences because you can kind of hear that throughout the song, but it's not in the sense that it's like, okay, cool, we'll have like a cool like like zero riff kind of thing going on and then hit you with like a large chorus. I feel 
feel like you guys took a lot of influences from Bring Me the Horizon, who I feel like always is, at least in my opinion, is always innovating in terms of their sound and what they're trying to go for. But they're like, we still love heavy music. How can we kind of make it work? And I feel like you guys kind of take that same mentality of being like, we love heavy music, but how can we make it in a way that is more, and this is going to sound bad, I guess, somewhat, but like, how can we make it more palatable, right? How can we make it more appealing to like if i went on the street and was like here's this screaming song that came out this year most people would be like this shit sucks or i don't like it and (laughs) other people if i showed somebody catch your breath they'd be like oh you know i'm not really into heavy music but the hooks on this have like a real like pop sort of vibe to it then they would like it more because they'd be like oh i thought heavy music was just like you know just how can how low can i scream how how chunky can i make the guitars and that's no problem. That's my bread and butter. I love that shit. But I know that a large majority of people are probably not into that sort of stuff. So I feel like you guys are hitting that nice, sweet spot of like, hey, if you're heavy and you know you like heavy music, that's going to rock. That's great. Awesome. But if you're more of the like person that listens to more pop music or more like alt rock sort of music, this is going to be like, this is going to be hitting both the notes. And if you like both, then you're like... This is the band, absolutely the band to check out because I think they do have both of those things. Uh, Do you find that with the new fans you've been getting, they've been like, yeah, I'm not really into heavy music, but I really do like you guys because I think you hit that mold. I get that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you could call it kind of like a, we've been called this recently and I honestly take it as kind of a compliment. I think we all do. It's like being called a a gateway band. I would agree. Um, Yeah. And um, the thing about it is like, Yes, we love heavy music, and we want to make something that can also reach out to people who need to be like introduced to the genre and breathe sure, more yeah. like yeah, yeah. Like there, there are songs in this album that are gonna melt people's faces. <laughs> like we're not gonna let anyone down when it comes to that. Mm-hmm. Um, love it, love it. Taking something that is getting a little stale, but still like hits right if you're into it, mm-hmm. breathing mm-hmm. life into it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, I think it's sim- go ahead. Good. I don't care. I think Call it's escape. I think it's similarly to I can see your projection in terms of the uh, another band that comes to mind is like I Prevail, right? Like a lot of people absolutely shit on them because they're like they're not heavy enough, right? And I could see that as being you know a former metal elitist, you know, uh, but also at the same point. I can see why other people like I Prevail or like in a day to remember or something like that because it's just like those are those are bands that can kind of get you into the next stage like you could be like oh catch your breath sick I like them they hit that like nice midpoint maybe they might find another band that is a little bit heavier and then by that point then they're one of us you know and that's great and I love that so I don't always feel like the opportunity to shit on a band that is more of a gateway band, I think that is a terrible way to kind of introduce other people into it. And I'm glad that, again, you guys are doing well because I think that there is a level of heaviness to it, but there's an extreme amount of catchiness to it that I feel like you find in a most more modern pop sort of styling. So I want to give you guys a lot of kudos for that because I think for me personally, you were one of the bands that I was like, as soon as I got the email, I was like, yes, please, I need to have them on because I, I was like, I was very stoked to see your progression as a band and I'm very excited to see what you guys have for 2023 um, in regards to new stuff. So I'll definitely be keeping my eyes peeled. But guys, you already know, links below. Go check them out. You should. You definitely should. And if not, I didn't. I can't tell you I didn't warn you. All right. So if they blow up that, you know, I'm just telling you, don't shoot the messenger. You should have been on the train a little bit, but uh, we'll we'll they're, figure. They're, they're, they will hear us eventually. <laughs> there you go, there you go. O'Neill's got it. But uh, the next question for you guys: um, What are some of the bands you're listening to currently? What's on the Spotify? What have you guys been jamming more currently? Hmm. Good question. I feel like I feel like everyone's music taste here is like so vastly different. I'm I'm waiting. I love it. I love live finding a new artist to check out. So. So my Spotify is let's see, Bad Omens. Ooh. Uh, volumes. Ooh, yeah. Okay. The Bill Murray. Yep. And then like some kind of obscure like 
Dark Wave artists, Kill Switch Engage, Panic at the Disco, Hail the Sun. Keenan's got like it. Keenan knows what's good. You know, I I know it's <laughs> good. The Bill Murray, my boy, love him. Yes, sir. Anyone else? Uh, I I always like uh, I've been listening to Caskets before they. Ooh, yeah. Were captives and the, you know, uh, I really love What a Vision, Polaris. Um, shoot, of course, Wage War. Like who doesn't? Oof, yeah. Uh, You're right. The Word Alive. Yes. About that band, like. Oh yeah. My favorite song by them is uh, Monomania. Yes. Awesome. Yeah. Now you guys are label mates. That's so sick. Yeah. yeah. That's really cool. And of course, I'll always listen to Kingdom of Giants, man. <sighs> they always hit home. My guys. <laughs> love those dudes. So, what, I, what I've been listening to, my guilty pleasure right now is like Dayseeker, the new oh. album. Um, and then like a lot of baby metal and yeah. oral cigarettes and um, a lot of J-pop, J-rock stuff. He's a big J-pop guy. Yeah. I'm about um, it. Same. <laughs> Josh? Oh, man. Okay. Uh, I've been jamming that new Sam Smith song a lot. Oh, <laughs> uh, nice. All right. Uh, really, uh, Dayseeker, since their Sleep Talk album, they can do no wrong in my eyes. Uh, That's true. The new Bad Omens album was really good. It, it was pretty good. Uh <laughs> Can't stop listening to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's songs on there that got me. Uh, but it's like the the weird, more poppy, obscure ones on their album. I really like those. Like, What Do You Want From Me? Mm-hmm. That, that Ooh, like, dark yeah. wave song. It's so cool. That's, what, that's probably my favorite. God, that too. shit's so cool. Oh, man. <laughs> Sleep Talk and it just like dropped two oh, songs. Yes. Oh, yes. I liked oh, yeah. I liked Chokehold, oh. but I thought I thought summoning the summoning was, was a little obscure, but like it was still oh. cool. Okay. But I thought Chokehold was freaking awesome. I'm in, I mean, I had to check both of them out. I did see them post about it, and I gotta. I haven't listened to them because I'm going to be recording a reaction video f- for both of them. So that will already be out by the time this comes like out. My, my inner tool fan. When I was <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Was All right. Just, what got me into bass. I was like, whoa, this is fucking um, crazy. Let me see. Really, I like probably for the last two weeks i haven't listened to too much music though because we've just been so heavy in the studio right sure 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 uh, once you got, get off come home sleep <laughs> fair thing. enough yeah Dude, that is no lie. we go to the studio at like probably at 2 p.m and we get out of there god whenever like midnight we, the, the latest we left i think was six o'clock in the morning like because we were just wow. like we were just on you know you're on riding. It. yeah once you get on like a roll you gotta ride their wave (laughs) yeah you gotta ride the wave you don't really want to leave and like oh come back to tomorrow no screw that we gotta finish this so i think i stayed up and tracked until like 4 30 in the morning then you know doing edits and everything and making sure everything was perfect took us until like probably five six we listened back to the song like I don't know, like yeah, 30 or 40 times. Curtis kept on like, one yeah. more time, guys. <laughs> we'd, hear we'd hear something that'd be like, oh, what if we did this? And they're like, oh, I'll just go back and do it. <laughs> yeah. I was bouncing and be like, yeah, oh. that was the right move. But we could also do this. Then we did it. it Until going, it was perfect. Yeah. Going for singles was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna make another song, three or four days, whatever. But like making it all <laughs> fun. It's yeah. so yeah. fun. It's, it's like a process. Every idea that's like, but so on the table, routine. like you know, we get along very well. So. Yeah, the the guys that we the that, family at this point. Yeah, that we go like record with. All of those guys are like personal friends. Like, oh, that's really great. Good. Yeah, we're, we're we're having we're having a good time over here. Yeah, that's awesome. And Atlanta's being very good to us right now. There we go. Big shout outs to Atlanta. Love it. Yeah. Love- yes, um, I'll also give Teddy a recommendation. I don't know if you've heard heard of this band before, but cold rain chef's yes kiss. they're fantastic they put yeah. out a new album last year and god they can do no wrong they're their band go check them out they're they're fucking sick i love those guys but uh the uh next question i have for you is uh if you guys could pick a song to cover what would it be sam smith's unholy <laughs> <laughs> that was fast respect god i love that song dude it's so good <laughs> yeah 
I don't know, a song that we would all want to cover. <laughs> like individually or as a band? As a band. Oh, yeah, that's a mm-hmm. answer. Probably it's the Smith, Sam Smith. You know what? I think we would all be down with Breaking Benjamin. <laughs> no. But what song? I was I was actually gonna hit once you got I got back home, I was gonna do drum cover of uh, breath. Ooh. Like recently. Yeah. Because we, we I think the one band we all collectively like like fangirl over is Breaking Benjamin. Yeah. Phobia yeah. album though. And yeah, it had so to be cool. off of Phobia. Probably Diary of Jane, because it would be like so worth so worth it. Play, like, yeah, it'd be, I would just want to play it. Yeah. Or like a Lincoln Park song too. Lincoln Actually, Park, yeah. Like, yeah. like something off of Minutes to Midnight. Yeah, Minutes to oh, Midnight. Dude, that would be sick. Like Breaking the Habit. Breaking the Habit. Ooh. It, like Breaking the Habit, that would be cool. Yeah. I'm yeah. about it. They, we don't like, I don't really we, think we, about We've never much. really thought of like yeah. doing a cover before. We've always been like pretty straightforward about writing our own stuff. Uh, but I mean, like, it's not. I don't think we're opposed to it either. It just never came up. No, yeah, yeah. It's not out of the cards, you know. No, sure. definitely not. No, no, it's not necessarily. necessarily. Yeah. There it's, we go. Yeah. Especially with, <laughs> with uh, TikToks, the power of TikTok. Oh my god! Uh, I was gonna say, yeah. We will do a, a cover on TikTok one day when, when, when the time is right. When the time is right. Yep. The time is right. I I have faith that you guys are gonna you know launch uh, just a a banging cover. So I'm I'm waiting. You know I'll just be, you know scrolling through the TikTok just waiting for you know for the covers to be unleashed. You know maybe so one day, maybe one day. Right now, there's a lot going I, on. Yeah. Right, now <laughs> right now it's the full length. You know I got you. Yeah. Yeah. I, just don't, I don't think Bob would be into that. Like he'd be like, no, no, how no. much do they want for the cover? <laughs> <laughs> that's fair that's fair that's fair that's fair but uh guys if you have any suggestions for catch your breath drop them in the comments i'm sure they'll check it out i don't know if they'll have the funds to pay for a cover song for that but who knows you know the rights we'll figure it out i'm sure something will come up but uh the uh the next question i have for you guys another fun one what is your favorite food to eat Ooh, nice. sushi Ooh, nice I like- uh I would say uh, ramen. Ooh, yeah. nice. All right. Uh, man, I don't know. That's hard. they really. He's a culinary guy. So yeah. Like, so okay. I... Okay. Respect. Respect. And as of late, we've been eating meal prepping and all that stuff. So anything sounds good. Like a really good <laughs> burger. Like just you know, very juicy and you don't have to you don't have to do a double meat patty. Just one fat patty. A man, know? a man of taste. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I like, I like a good barbacoa taco. Mm. Like I like it. I like it with a little bit of salt, lime, mm. onions. Yeah. And then you dip that into some like cilantro salsa or uh, the avocado salsa. Have you guys ever? I, I don't know if you guys have them up uh, like where you are. I I, I don't know. PA. What, I'm out in PA, so I. You guys. Uh, we, you guys all... want, we have this chain. Of taco places that are attached to Seven Elevens, believe it or not. Laredo Taco, <laughs> Laredo Taco, dude. What? Laredo Taco. I go there and I get two barbacoa tacos and fix them up just like that. With the, oh, the, yeah. yeah, the lime, the salt, the onions, and then I dip it in their avocado salsa that they got. Ooh. Oh, God. That sounds delicious. I'm gonna go drive out there now. So where wherever you guys are at, I'm gonna go <laughs> yeah. get those tacos. Yeah. They sound delicious. I'm about it. You know. That sounds awesome. Love the choices, guys. The next question I have for you, another music-related question. If you guys could pick a collaboration in regards to an upcoming release, who would you love to work with? Oh, my God, Rory. (laughs) Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Thank you so much. Please. He's heard of us, too. Yeah, he heard of us. He was like, oh, your vocals are sick. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, we've hit us up for a collab, Rory. I'm about it. I, 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 I will. Day Seeker, we will break the scene if we do a song together. We will break. I'm about it. Break. Listen, respect. I'm about it. Is that is that everyone's final answer? Is Day Seeker? Mine? No, not mine. Oh. Mine have, yeah. Ollie from Bring Me. Yeah, Ollie. Yeah, that's a big ticket. Yeah. Ooh. All right, all right, all right, all right. Bob wedding. Right I would now. say mine already happened, but Michael. 
Yeah. Michael Barr from Volumes. Oh, yeah. yes. I'm in the water if you guys want to hear Michael Barr scream his head off. Song. I'm, I'm about it. Love me some Volumes. Keenan? Me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I've been, like, I'm, a, I'm also a singer, and I do some backup vocals on um, our album. He's our harmony um, boy. Yeah. About and it. lately, I've been really taken uh, back at Noah Sebastian's uh, new approach to his vocals. Yeah. Like, really switches up the same note, just doing different resonances and voices to make things interesting. So I think pretty obviously Bad Omens would be sick. Ooh. I- Noah did that on his own, or if he's getting lessons, if he's getting lessons, I'm gonna figure out who it's with. <laughs> just, voice, you know, basically. <clears throat> yeah, it could be he's just like talented. Some yeah, people are, some yeah. people are just talented, man. I, I would agree. Hard to sound good. <laughs> also, I feel like uh, I did not give that Bad Omens album enough love, so I am definitely gonna have to go back and give that some more love because. I was I neglected to include it on my albums of the year last year, but I oh, know cool. that I know that I everyone has been saying check it out. So now I have to. I feel like in this new year I'll have to give it a listen. But I can, um, I can understand if you're like tired of hearing like concrete jungle and just pretend because uh, I'm even, especially just pretend. My God, just blew pretend up. Yeah, more viral than we ever were. <laughs> <laughs> It was everywhere for the longest time. Every dude on TikTok that was like alt was doing a cover of it. Yeah. And I get it. I get it. It gets old. Same, you know? <laughs> you, you think you guys are tired of it. We get a notification every time you guys comment and like on it. And we have to, like, hear the song. Oh, we open it, you know? We get it. We get it. That, that doesn't mean... That doesn't mean that the rest of the album doesn't absolutely crush because it does. They sure, have a sure. lot of really cool new ideas that they're running with. Uh, I think if Keaton were still around with Too Close to Touch, oh. it's one of my favorite Ooh. bands of all time. Uh, Noah said it too. He was like, this guy like changed the way that I sing. Same. Yeah. The song Shame On Me, the whole reason I even came up with that concept is because I was like neck deep into Too Close to Touch oh, all the time. Fantastic. So like, yeah, I think if that dude were still around... I think that Too Close to Touch would be doing a lot of what Bad Omens is doing. Agreed. Yeah. Uh, I I don't I don't know why Too Close to Touch wasn't more famous than they were. Sometimes I agree. That they, like maybe they were just pioneering too much, and you know it needed like yeah. they were gonna be like Park was. You know, like Lincoln Park in the late '90s, early 2000s. They weren't the hugest band in the world because they were really pioneering a sound. But, sure. You know, yeah. One years later. Everyone from the scene is like, yo, Lincoln Park, you know, they're, oh, they're, absolutely. They're, they're like one of the godfathers. So I think that like, if Keaton were still around, that would have been too close to touch. Like musicians love too close to touch The like fan base, not so much. They're one of those bands, but I think Bad Omens really took that vibe and like built on it. And, I would like, agree. Was voice to it, put their Bad Omens vibe to it and they're, running away with things i think that the other night i I don't i'm not trying to put anybody's business out there but i i like they're pulling crazy numbers every night like oh i'm sure like 50k a night like that's i mean that's nuts yeah you guys remember that song forgot about dre yeah there's a line in that song where he's like eminem's doing great he's doing 50 a week he was talking about he's making fifty thousand dollars a week Bad Omens is pulling in 50k a night. Woo! There we go. So the scene isn't dead. People still love this music. That's true. You gotta figure out a way to reach the masses now. You have to be new and fresh. You can't just rinse and repeat things and then just throw your hands up. I don't know why no one likes it. Like, well, I can tell you why. It's because they've heard it before. Yeah, no, I think that... I think the bands right now, from what I can tell, is just they're trying to find their way within this. And I think, you know, Bad Omens has done a fantastic job of like, I mean, their whole tour sold out. I mean, I feel like that's in and of itself fantastic accomplishment as well as that. I think it shows that, again, you know, very similarly to what Josh said, the scene is not dead. You just have to really look for the bands that I think are doing a great job of, you know, keeping the scene to where it's at and i think that obviously tiktok has a large portion of that because i mean 
very similarly to like Pierce the Veil blowing up on TikTok as well. That tour did extremely well because again, two of the top bands on that tour were again massively popular on social media. So I think that I think that there's a good setup for this year. You know, obviously hoping for really great tours as I do every year, but I do feel like the bands and the scene itself has gotten so much better after after the pandemic. So I'm hoping that bands just yeah. continue to do it. Obviously hope to see, uh, you know, catch your breath in the Philly area because that'd be really sick. So we'll I have to keep my eyes peeled on when you guys are coming out here. But um, I love the, the uh, you know, the potential features. So guys, listen, you've, we've come to the moment here where you go on Twitter, you tag catch your breath, you tag bad omens, bring me the horizon, volumes, and I'm trying to think of the last one. I think Dayseeker. a day seeker tag all four of those bands. I want to hear a mega collab, you know? So if you won't, you know, listen, if you want to hear that happen, I'm just putting it out there you can, you know, manifest it. You know, if you think it sounds sick, you know, give it a share. That's not going to, not going to hurt. So it will be the, it will be like the big six, but like for like, you know, metal core for the hardcore core. Yeah. i'm i'm about it I, I wouldn't say no to that shit so guys if you want to make it happen do it up that'd be very sick but uh the next question i have for you guys i don't know if you can see i am a huge nerd so i always love asking this question you guys could be a video game character who would you be master chief oh o'neill out the gate i love it yep. damn doomslayer yeah. oh okay. nice okay. Damn, I don't know. I don't really play video games besides like FPS shooters. Kronos. Woo! I like that. That's a good one, Josh. All right. Kratos. 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 <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Kronos. Kratos. I'm bad with names. It's all right. It's all right. I'll I'll cut it out and post. So you're all good, Josh. Yay. Uh, <laughs> I I don't want you to get flamed in the comments. You know that's. Last thing I would ever want, you know, so. Uh, the gaming community, the crossover, you know. Um, and do you, you said you didn't have one, Teddy? Or you? Yeah, I, I, play, I do mostly FPS games like oh. Valorant and. Who's your favorite character on Valorant? Yeah, who you, yeah, who you playing on oh. Valorant? Uh, Cypher. Cypher. Ooh, there you go. okay. All right. I'm about it. All right. There we go. Well, great picks, guys. Obviously, you know. Oh no, I gotta agree with the most because I'm a huge Master Chief fan. So yeah. big salutes, big salutes. But uh the uh next question I have for you guys, another fun music related question. What would be your dream tour lineup, including Catch Your Breath? Ooh, of course with bad omens. <laughs> bring me headlining. Bring me, obviously. Okay, respect. Uh, probably bring bad omens, day seeker, catch your breath. That'd be clean. I mean, we're talking about dream headline. I would say Lincoln Park. Yeah, bring me, bring me, think bigger. Lincoln Park, Lincoln Park. Then bring Ar me. architects. Architects. Okay. Yeah, architects. They are selling out arenas in Germany right now. That's yeah. true. That's true. That's true. Bad omens. They're selling out every show they do right now. Yeah, and then a day to remember in us. Yeah, dude. Yeah. A day to God, they like they headlined Lollapalooza like not too long ago, didn't they? I'm not entirely sure about that. I'm not sure if they headlined, but I know they played main stage because I watched their video of them performing Lollapalooza and they fucking killed, dude. Oh my yeah, god, that's it wild. So good. It was so good. Jeremy's like, Jeremy's gotten so much better because I remember watching them when Homesick just came out. I mean, like, was fresh, and uh, I remember being like, "Man, that was a great show." But he's kind of pitchy, you know. <laughs> now. Like and now he sounds so like he's perfect. He's That's perfect. great. Big and, uh, they, it, like it shows like how successful they are, and along with Wage War, because they literally just sold out an arena acoustic tour. Yes, on the coast. Like what? You sold out an acoustic arena tour? Like <laughs> <laughs> that was so. That's just. I don't know what to say. It's unexpected. Like, yeah. Yeah, they're. they're they're doing great, and the scene is not dead. I would agree. I agree. Keenan, what do you got? Oh, man. Um, they kind of stole my answers. Yeah. yeah. We all yeah. Brothers, they they kind of thought, of, thought about this 
that kind of an answer before, <laughs> like several times, like what kind of tour we would do. But of course, anyone, if I could ever tour Breaking Benjamin just because, oh, yes. or just because, because I just love them so much. Can we that, play a festival great. instead of a tour? Can it be like a festival tour? Uh, yes. I mean, we can combine all of these. It would be the, you know, Catch Your Breath Festival, guys. Let's get back to you. We're just going to make, like, a spider web. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, now that you say that, I want to, like, nickel back and break in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, go. Man, you know, like, the, the shit that, like, we grew up with. Yeah. Man, yeah. that, the screw that when we were young fest, dude, we need to go back further than that and, like, listen to all the bands that grew like, three doors down and all that. Oh, like, man. Yeah. Shit. God, we sound saying? like we sound like boomers right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Don't take anything away from early two thousands rock, late nineties rock. That alternative scene. Mm-hmm. Ruled I was gonna say, forward. yeah, still is. It's yeah. still good. Yeah. Oh my God, I love that, guys. Listen, if you want to buy pre-sale tickets, they're <laughs> down below. <laughs> I, you know. Festival together. It's Let's go. Good. I don't know who we have to, you know, who we have to gather together, but let's Jack, let's make it know. Yeah. I'm stoked. <laughs> Just every day you like move back in time a little bit to like <laughs> dance from that decade. Like that'd see. be great. I love that. Uh, the next question I have for you guys, another fun one: favorite TV show, favorite movie. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> The Last Kingdom is probably my favorite TV show. Ooh, okay. okay. I love that show. I there's a lot of people that dog it because like, ooh, Vikings is better. Well, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Everybody's so much more pretty. In, in the <laughs> and and I like the acting more. I think like I don't know. I just didn't like Vikings. Fair um, enough. I'm okay. gonna have to say two different things because I like regular TV shows and I like anime. So hey, hey, my favorite TV show is probably Westworld. And then favorite oh. favorite anime is probably uh, Neon Genesis Evangelion. Oh uh, yeah. Favorite movie? Hmm. I'd say Big Lebowski. Ooh, no, vibes. I don't know about that, but. Was, was that a three part? Because I heard TV show and I was like, God, I love The Last Kingdom. <laughs> I got <it> my <laughs> uh, So The Last Kingdom TV show. Favorite anime? Mm-hmm. Shit. I really like Food Wars. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Anime, man. I like, I don't know, it has, you know, it's not your typical anime. There's like it is anime. very much not, yeah. <laughs> so funny. Uh, favorite movie? It's a big question. You have to sort of like, which genre do you like over the other? That's true, that's true, that's true, yeah. I'm a big, big horror fan, but like, mm. I'd like they, none of them have been my favorite movies. It's just like my favorite genre, if that makes sense. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Uh, mm, what is that? Uh, the the prequel to Alien that they made like years. Prometheus. Ago. Prometheus. Oh, that Prometheus. Movie okay. Got me. I love that movie. I still think like I haven't seen a movie that besides like maybe like Shutter Island. The first time I saw Shutter Island, I was like, whoa. Like this uh, or Inception. Oh yeah. I, there's, there's like cerebral stuff. But. Yeah, I really like stuff like that. Uh, Insidious, the first one, Ooh. was really good. I thought like really good. Uh, God. How about you guys? Yeah, yeah. I can go in. <laughs> yeah. Um, TV show would have to be an anime. Um, Ooh. Red Zero. Mm-hmm. Nice. Okay. Yeah. A movie. That was gonna be my probably. Hero. Now my hero is great too, though. Yeah, my hero yeah. is great. Uh, movie probably be like one of the Spider-Man movies. Ooh, nice. Okay, yeah. The, uh, Demon Slayer movie. It was good. Yeah, the Demon Slayer was so good. There's gonna be more, so gonna be more movies to come. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh no, we go ahead. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I really like sitcoms. So. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Anything from Friends. What about King of Queens? No, no, Friends is the... King, yeah. King, King of the Queen I've got, I recently got into. just That's like, great, yeah. It's funny, but Friends, I can quote anything from that. And then my favorite movie is Never Back Down. Ooh, all right. I haven't heard that one in a little bit. I like that. Great. Yeah. I love that. 
I like your anime choices, guys, as well, you know, as as a resident anime watcher as well. Um, love the suggestions. They're always good. I just finished, uh, well, I rewatched Evangelion again. Uh, I watched it when I was like a teen and I was like, yeah. I was like, oh, this is sick. I love the action. And then I watch it now as like an almost 30 year old. And I'm like, God, crippling depression yeah. sucks. It's wild. It's so it's so good. Underrated. If you guys haven't watched it, definitely watched watch one. it. Don't miss the rebuild movies too. Uh awesome. yes. Yeah. I want to say I watched one on Netflix. It was like it was a one season, like thirteen episode. You know, one of those. Netflix sure, sure. Things. Yeah. I want to say it was called Andromeda. And hmm. it was about, uh, like, a oh God, I want to say it was like an android woman that used to be human that was in love with someone that was, like, on the rivaling faction. And they were at war, and they ended up, like, sick. back up. And, dude, like, it's such a hard wrencher. Like, there's a lot of action. There's a lot of scheming. And it's, yeah, you cry at the end. Like, I'm about yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. It's so good. Uh, I can't find it on Netflix anymore. Oh. So if you guys can find, I think it's called Andromeda. If you can find it, let us know where that is because I'm going to rewatch it. Yes, I need to watch it as well. So and, um, let us know. Favorite movie would be Ghost in the Shell in 1995. Ooh, that's a, that's a good one. I like that. I'm about wow. it. Um, I do also want to recommend, guys, if you have, if you're a big, like, thriller kind of like anime watcher i don't know if it's still on netflix but erased chef's kiss oh yeah yeah love that true. love that series I, that was that great, was great, great um the live action the de- uh, um, show of that is also great oh i didn't even know that i'll have to watch it okay yeah, the, act- the actors the kid actors are really great and that, all right and that- have to watch that what's it now i'm gonna ha- now i'm gonna have to go watch that guys so yeah love the choices guys let us know what your favorite anime is down below as well give us some good suggestions all you know can't can't get enough of good anime so give me some good yeah. recommendations but uh the next question i have for you guys if you're trapped on an island for the next month and there was one album you could bring with you to listen to what album would that be the phobia album oh oh no I'm killing it no. uh love me, it, it minutes to midnight lincoln park <sighs> Two for two, baby. I love it. Probably Periphery 2. Oh! Yes. Yeah. All right. Keenan. I yeah. love it. All right. All right. All right. Josh? Drum roll. Probably the... the, the I don't know. Uh, the Autumn Effect by 10 Years. Oh, Ooh. damn it. Oh, that is a good one. Oh man, that is a good one. I used to, Fuck. I used to go to sleep listening to that album every night, dude. I love that album so much. Wow, I wow, I have not heard that in a bit. Oh, wow, oh, that's great. Now I have to go back and listen to that one. Oh, please do, man. That album is fire from start to finish. That is some nostalgia right there. I love that. Okay, cast it out. That's a great song. That's Oof. A great- kudos josh josh that that was my i like that answer a lot that was a great one um (laughs) the last thing i have for you guys i've been asking this a lot more currently and just kind of ends up in my rotation of questions but obviously had a great time chatting again go check out catch your breath we'll give them a moment to talk about their social media and all that sort of stuff so you know where to follow them at but um why do you guys create music why is it important to you because i feel like i always have a love for interviewing bands getting to know about them just falling in love with what you guys do why do you why is music such a necessity or an importance in your life to create it and share with other people um uh, i like connecting with people and like i like balance and mm-hmm. i feel like when you get people in the same room and yeah, good good fucking music. You know, anything else doesn't matter. You know? Oh yeah. So if we can move people with our music, that's literally what my goal is. I would agree. Yeah. Um, for me, it's uh, 
why well, I picked up guitar and I started like doing music because of Alice Santa. That was my favorite oh, band. Oh, yeah. And I just watched them and seen them. I was like, I want to do that. And I picked up guitar. I learned all their albums on guitar. And then I found Asking Alexandra. And I was like, I want to do that. And I learned all their songs from Stand Up and Scream album. And I was like, I just want to keep doing it. I, I want to like be them. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. met the right people and wrote the best songs that we could. And yeah. I just love playing bass. <laughs> i like how i just love how teddy and onel were just like i just love connecting with people and keenan's just like bass is cool we had one girl feeling. we made one girl cry <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What? I That's a, sick. I have cam footage. I haven't uploaded yet. I sang "Shame on Me" to her and she cried. So yeah, like stuff like that is like yeah. it's wild, man. Like, yeah. Yeah. That's so sick. Oh man, Josh, uh, is it because you like to sing? Is out? I'm just and you know I just trying that, to read yeah, the room. I you know, I like to sing. I, I I honestly don't. I think I said it the other the day. I don't think I'd be alive without "Catch Your Breath" right now. I'm a sad, stressed kitten, and. After high school, I didn't have, like, sports as an outlet anymore, you know? Sure, yeah. High school bands and stuff, but, like, this band is probably, like, my lifeblood. That's awesome. So, it, uh, it refueled, it refueled me, you know, in life, and, uh, I don't know, I think that, like, part of that is why we all do it, is because, like, it's just ingrained in who we are. You know? Yeah. And, like, you know, we need this. We don't. We don't, like, we want it, yeah, but we, like, we need this. We need music. And I think that's, like, I think that's the difference is, like, some people are interested in playing music, and that's fine, but some people need it. Yeah. And yeah. I think, yeah. I think, in a way, we all need this. Yeah, I gave a little bit of a joke, Andrew. Like, I just wouldn't feel, like, <laughs> I wouldn't feel satisfied doing anything else but music. Sure, you know? yeah. Yeah, just, I would be literally, I don't know, I think I'd just be sad with myself and, like, just disappointed that I never, never tried and like went for it. My cat, my cat. That is adorable. Oh, oh. He has a small cat. No, nah, this dude is this dude is twenty pounds. So <laughs> no, it just it. it he just looks, looks small. Family friend. There you go. All right, well, guys, I love your answers. Uh, big, you know, I feel like me, like, and the reason why I started doing this was I love connecting with people as well. And obviously, like, you guys have a great fan base. So, obviously, I hope to continue that growth of your great fan base. So, where can they find Catch Your Breath at? I know you want to leave. Uh, where can you catch, <laughs> where can they find Catch Your Breath at? Yeah. And what you guys have coming up in the next couple months? Yeah, so you can find us on Instagram at Catch Your Breath Band. On our Twitter at CYB underscore TX. And on TikTok, Catch Your Breath TX. Um, we are gonna ride the wave of dial tone. Dial tone's going to radio this week. Woo! Congrats! So we're Hell gonna yeah. be that, handling all that, and uh, might have a tour coming up in the spring to the summer. It's not confirmed. Yeah, we got to see what, what happens with all that. We got yeah, a couple. We got, we got. Yeah, we're waiting. Nothing's on. baking. No, not, yeah, nothing. <laughs> but we will be on the road. Yes, no matter what. This year. Hey, a lot on the let's road. go. I buy your tickets early. Oh, and also, stop what you're doing right now and He's follow us on, on Spotify. Yes. 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 Follow, follow us on Spotify. Hit that follow button on Spotify. That matters so much. That helps Do it me. up. Feed the algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I love it. Guys, listen. I told you once. I'm going to tell you again. Go check out Catch Your Breath. All the links below, including the Spotify link. Go give them a follow. I'm not an idiot, so I followed them as soon as I heard dial tone. So don't be stupid and go follow them. Exactly. Also, you know, listen, if it's a bop, you already know the rest of the shit going to be fire. You know, 20 flame emojis, you know. So please go give a follow. Go give some love to Catch Your Breath. I'll also leave their um, website as well. It has all the links to all their social media as well. You can go pick up some merch. The merch. Also, Chef's Kiss, you know, we for sometimes we neglect to think about merch. 
uh, as I currently look at my closet filled with a ton of band shirts that I've collected over years, and I probably will not have enough lifetimes to wear the same black and white shirt over and over again. But go check out Catch Your Breath if you like them enough to go do that. Go buy some merch. That is the best way to help them out as well, too. So go give them some love. And if you enjoyed this interview, share, like, and subscribe. It goes a long way. It'll also be out in audio format. So if you don't want to see our beautiful faces, which, again, going to be very upset, you know, I might, you know, I might be a little hurt, you know, personally, but you can go listen to them, Spotify, Apple Music, all that jazz. And uh, huge thanks to... Uh... <laughs> I know, that's what I said. They would be fucking up if they didn't do this. So (laughs) please go check out Catch Your Breath. And huge thanks to the guys for coming on tonight to talk with me. You're welcome, sir. 2023, year of CYB. Yes, sir.